れてたんだよね。そうだよね。Waiting for people. Let me just. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. It's been a while. Sorry, it's been a while. Um. Today, we are going to be streaming、uh, CBT with Yuka. Now, I've heard some of the people in the chat that, from earlier chats, that I, I, I've been mistreating Yuka or something like that, right? I don't, I don't know what's going on there, but with all the, the Yuka hype in the previous streams, I'm going to be starting, I'm going to be playing this right now, okay? All right, let's begin. Okay, let's start this. You walk along your way to the forest in search of the field of sunflowers. After some time, you come across the sunflower garden. You meet the, you, you meet the person you're looking for. Hey, that's as far as you go. I really don't want you stepping on these sunflowers. You hurt the poor, tortured souls that live inside them. <laughs> Just kidding. Mostly.、Uh-huh. I'm Yuka Kazumi. You must be here for the CBT sessions.、Um, yes, that's what I've heard. I mostly just keep to myself and enjoy the company of flowers all year round. But I figured it can't hurt to learn more about humans and how their minds work. So I picked up a psychology book that the half yokai shop owner had laying around in his store. It was there I learned about cognitive behavioral therapy. It seemed pretty useful, and I couldn't help but want to share it with a few humans. That's nice of you. And here we are. So glad you could make it. Really glad you could make it. Real glad.、Mm. Anyway, it's so nice of you to join me. The human mind, it's deep and complex. It's amazing. But at the same time, it's quite irrational, downright absurd at some points. Our brain is ultimately trying to protect itself. But sometimes it overreacts to things that aren't really valuable threats to our safety and well being. These irrational thoughts can cause a slew of problems to our mental health. I can see that. That's where cognitive behavioral therapy comes in. Essentially, cognitive behavioral therapy is using logic based strategies to help alleviate symptoms of poor mental health. That makes sense. Our problems come from irrationality, so it's only natural that grounding ourselves in logic and reason can help us live better. We can't change how we feel, but we can certainly change how we react. And by changing how we react, we can eventually change how we feel. That makes sense. It becomes a full circle, just like nature itself. Kind of beautiful when you think about it that way. With cognitive behavioral therapy, you can take some steps to finally reclaim your true self. With that said, this is different from simply giving you advice. These are actual activities that you have to try multiple times to see results. But you wouldn't have come all this way to not put at least some effort in, right? Yeah. It wouldn't be very nice to waste your time here. Or my time. Yeah. Wouldn't be nice. I agree. At all. Y- yes. 
Oh, with that said, let's begin the first lesson. Okay. This one is about negative or inaccurate thinking. In life, sometimes things do not go our way. Naturally, this is perfectly normal and bound to happen eventually. However, sometimes we think of the worst possible things as a result of when the unexpected occurs. As a result, we may develop certain lines of thinking that are not in line with reality. That makes sense. To combat this, we simply just need to challenge these overblown thoughts with reality. For example, let's say you said hi to a friend you saw across a hall or a street. Okay. But, oh no, they seemingly completely ignored you. Now tell me, what is the reason for this? What usually comes to your mind when something like this happens? Um, when that happens, usually I think that my friends, or my friend rather, was mad at me over something I did, so. It's common to think that at first glance. Well, as we have just demonstrated, it's easy to jump to a conclusion and think it must be our fault when something like this happens. However, this is mostly an emotional side talking to us this way. We have not yet challenged it with logic. Now, I will demonstrate some more logical grounds as to why your friend might have ignored you. They could have been busy with something that took up all of their attention. They thought it was a stranger calling someone else. They could have been dealing with something serious and your voice was drowned out. They simply didn't hear you. I can see that. See? Isn't that better? Yeah. Don't you find it's much more likely that they just didn't hear you than them hating you over something you're not even sure would have made them upset? Next time you think of such negative thoughts, try to counter it with logic. Alright, I'll try. I'll try doing that. Instead of thinking, they walked past me because they hate me, try something much more logical, such as, eh, they were probably busy with something and simply didn't hear me. Of course, it doesn't apply to just friends. It can apply to anything. For instance, I myself don't particularly have any close friends, but I still worry about some things. When I go flower gazing, a thought will pop in my head. I'll think, oh no, what if someone interrupts my gazing and ruins the flowers I enjoy watching so much? But then I go, ah, don't worry. The moment he so much as creases these flowers, I'll slowly turn him inside out with my pinky finger and make his family watch. Oh, what? And I just feel so much better afterwards. Okay. <laughs> oh, but uh, such a thing doesn't really relate to you. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Ah, here's one. Let's say you want to go to the doctor, but you're scared of needles and don't want to get seriously injured. Once again, just challenge it with logic. Counter it with something like, she's a trained professional who has done this countless times. The chances of anything going seriously wrong are extremely low. Now I hope you get the general idea. I do. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a good line of thinking. Overall, if you get any negative thoughts that are causing you unease, be sure to try and challenge them with logic-based thoughts. Oh, I wouldn't try to have grand arguments with yourself in your head. Just simply address the thought. Yeah. And remember, you don't have to entirely believe what you counter it with. The important thing is to just respond in an appropriate manner. Mm-hmm. Well... That concludes our first lesson. Thanks. Now, on to the next lesson. This one is about thought journals. Thought journals are the use of writing down your negative feelings and identifying patterns of harmful and often illogical thinking, then challenging those lines of thinking with more helpful, 
balance than logical thought. First, you write out what exactly is causing you distress and why. Be as specific as you can, write down what you're feeling. You can even note the intensity of how you feel. Mm -hmm. Then, when you have written it out, identify the portions of irrational thinking present in what you have written. Okay. Finally, after you have identified the irrational portions, change them with more healthy, balanced thoughts that are based on logic. Mm -hmm. This is helpful not only because you're challenging your beliefs again, but also because writing down your thoughts allows you to give them a whole new perspective that you can help cope better with. Mm -hmm. Now, the tricky part is identifying what exactly you wrote down that's irrational. I think it's best if I just give you an example of what a proper thought journal entry looks like. All right. Take a look at this. I tailor made it for a common situation humans face. All right, let's let's look at this. What's bothering me? I think my friends actually don't like me and don't want to hang out with me because I'm a depressing person who brings them down. All right. Oh, okay. How this makes me feel. Sad, depressed, lonely, hopeless. How bad it hurts. 7 out of 10. It hurts pretty bad. Irrational lines of thinking present in this thought. Mind reading. I am assuming what my friends are thinking about me. Even though I cannot read their minds, there's no way to know what they're thinking without them actually telling me. Negative assumptions. I am only thinking that my friends don't like me. However, I did not take into account the nice things they have done for me that prove that they do, in fact, like me. Emotional reasoning. I am only going off of this based on feeling alone and not logic. There is no evidence to suggest that my friends secretly despise me. What is a more balanced... Right. You, 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 Yuka, you, you, you good? Yuka? Yuka? Yes, sorry about that. Um, you know how I Um, 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 okay, let me keep reading this. What is a more balanced, reasonable thought? My friends wouldn't actually be my friends if they didn't like me. I can always ask them if there's anything I do that puts them in a worse mood. Or they can just tell me themselves and we can work from there. All right. And with that, you should have an understanding of what a thought journal is and how to use it. It involves more effort, but can be more helpful. That's generally what you have to put in when it comes to more extensive therapy. On to the final lesson. This one is called Belief Experimentation. This one is a step further from what you've learned so far. This is one of the most powerful CBT strategies you can learn. As the name implies, a belief experiment is when you act out on something that you think may cause you distress and then noting what actually happened when you acted out. Since our negative feelings are not based on reality, acting them out and noting what happened is one of the best ways you can ease trouble. This is because more often than not, what actually transpired doesn't match with what we thought would happen in our minds. Now, to get started, first, start by writing down the experiment you're going to do that's based on your troubles. All right. Then, write down what you think is going to happen. Okay. Next, perform your experiment, whenever that may be. Mm -hmm. Then, you write down what actually ended up happening and what you have learned from it. Mm -hmm. Was it as bad as you thought it was? Was it a positive or negative outcome? Would you be doing this again in the future? Did it ease your troubles? Mm. Just like the thought journal, reflection is key. I know. I'll perform a belief experiment myself. Uh -huh. I already finished some of it anyway. All right, let's see it. Here it goes. Experiment. I shall give CBT lessons to a human. Mm -hmm. Prediction. The human will end up wasting my time because I believe humans to be weak and disappointing. I see. Outcome? Um. Hmm. Well, I guess now is as good as any of the time to show you my new spell card. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, now then, I, I, where were we? Um, uh-uh. Ah, right. I, we were just seeing if you really were wasting I, my time or not. Uh-huh. Let me quiz you on some of the things we learned today. Uh -huh. 
if you get it right, that means you have indeed been listening and therefore have not been wasting my time, thus providing that humans aren't so bad after all. Uh -huh. Get it wrong, and <laughs> you'll just be confirming what I knew. But that's okay. It doesn't affect me in the slightest. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, on to the first question. Let's start with something basic. Uh -huh. What does CBT I, stand for? It, it, it stands for Cognitive <laughs> Behavioral Therapy. Good. <laughs> now for the next question. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is a Cognitive Thought Journal? It, 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 it's when you write about events that's bothering you and find flaws in your line of thought. <laughs> Very nice. On to the last question. Uh -huh. What is a belief experiment? It, 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 it's when you act out on what's bothering you and take note of what actually transpired. <laughs> Wait, are, are you? Are, are you? Are, are you? Are you? Are, are you? Uh, 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 um, uh, now, I was never going to hurt you. Okay. I just like to have fun and toy around with humans. They're so unique. I see. Uh huh. Sometimes I just mess around with them. Other times they turn into fertilizer for the sunflowers. Uh huh. No forgetting with that one. Um. Anyways, let's take the thought experiment from the top now, shall we? Mm. Experiment. I shall give CBT lessons to a human. Uh -huh. Prediction. The human will end up wasting my time because I believe humans to be weak and disappointing. Yeah. Outcome. Prediction did not come true. The human listened to me attentively, answered every question correctly, exceeded my expectations, and thoroughly entertained me. Mm -hmm. Reflection. Humans can be a wonderful source of entertainment. I shall hang out with them more. Well, I'm, I'm glad. Particularly this human right here. Well, thank you. Oh, I guess this goes without saying, but... When you feel scared or frightened, always remember the happy times in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good memories can save your life, as they say. Yeah. Well, that concludes the lessons. Mm -hmm. Try out whichever method works best for you whenever you need to use it. Okay. Make use of what I taught you today. <laughs> All right, I will. I mean it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that said, I had a really good time today. I'm glad. Thank you. You're welcome. You're free to come back anytime you want if you need a refresher. All right. I do hope to see you soon. Uh, yeah, me too. I better see you soon. Uh-huh, yeah. Well, take care now. All right. Well, guys, that was uh, CBT with Yuka. Thank you for watching. Um, You're going to let me out of the basement now, right, Mer? Um. Oh. What do you mean? You're you're not in the basement. It's so dusty down here. Um. It's so dusty. Um. I can't see half the time because of how much there is. I, I think I'm starting to get affected by all of it. Um, and I don't think the freezer is a very adequate oh, replacement. What, what, are you, what are you? What are you? What are you talking about? We're out. We're out here in the in outside with all the sunflowers, right? See, they're they're like in the background. They're right there. This is one of the only times that you let me out, though, you know. Um. Anyway, that that was CBT with Yuka. Thank you for watching. Um. There's so much ice in um, my house, man. I'm I'm ending stream. Bye. Bye. <laughs>